Good morning, and welcome to Living Bread Radio's Liturgy of the Word. Today is Friday, March 16th, the Friday of the fourth week of Lent. Today's readings are from the Book of Wisdom, chapter 2, and from the Gospel of John, chapter 7. Today's reflection is from an archive of the Living Bread Radio Library. And now, in communion with the Church throughout the world, let us lift up our hearts to the Lord in prayer and song with Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked said among themselves, thinking not aright, Let us beset the just one, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. He professes to have knowledge of God, and styles himself a child of the Lord. To us he is the censure of our thoughts. Merely to see him is a hardship for us, because his life is not like that of others, and different are his ways. He judges us debased. He holds aloof from our paths as from things impure. He calls blessed the destiny of the just, and boasts that God is his Father. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the Son of God, he will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With revilement and torture let us put him to the test, that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. These were their thoughts, but they erred, for their wickedness blinded them, and they knew not the hidden counsels of God, neither did they count on a recompense of holiness, nor discern the innocent soul's reward. The Word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus moved about within Galilee. He did not wish to travel in Judea, because the Jews were trying to kill him. But the Jewish feast of tabernacles was near. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as it were, in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, Is he not the one they are trying to kill? And look, he is speaking openly, and they say nothing to him. Could the authorities have realized that he is the Christ? But we know where he is from. When the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as he was teaching and said, You know me and also know where I am from. Yet I did not come on my own, but the one who sent me, whom you do not know, is true. I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand upon him, because his hour had not yet come. 
The Gospel of the Lord. And now, the Bread of Life, a reflection on today's Mass readings by Father Ron Turek from St. Agnes Parish in Orville, Ohio. Are you different? Sometimes being different can be a curse, especially for a young person. Somebody makes fun of them. Oh, your shoes are squeaky. Look at how your hair is cut, the clothes you wear. You don't seem to fit in. Sometimes that can cause people to do things that they shouldn't do. Sometimes people want to go along with the crowd, so they use bad language. They engage in activities that they shouldn't because people want to fit in. In today's readings, we are reminded that really we should be different for Jesus. A good and a loving person, a person who lives as they should, can sometimes be a reminder to others of what they're failing to do. So the remark was made in today's first reading that that person, the just one, and ultimately Jesus, is the center of our thoughts. We sometimes maybe don't like being around people who remind us of what we fail to be. We know sometimes the person, and hopefully we might do this at times, who might not join in idle gossip, putting somebody down. Hopefully we see in others and we ourselves maybe stand up for someone and speak well of them when others are putting them down. We maybe walk away from when somebody's being torn down and show our disapproval in that way, whether from uncharitable speech or some other improper action. Let us remember to be different for Christ, to be signs of his love and his presence, certainly to turn the other cheek, but also to preach the gospel, not just by our words, but by how we live our lives, how we act and how we speak. for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word is a production of the Living Bread Radio Network in Canton, Ohio. For more information on this or any of our local programs, log on to livingbreadradio.com, where you can listen on demand or subscribe to any of our podcasts.